okay. But this is the thing we want to train people to think. If there's a problem, the Constitution is the answer. So that's where we should turn to, not just have a debate on what we think government should be doing. Okay, this is the rule book that we need to understand and know. Um, great Amer Americans do not seek to receive what they have not earned by their own labor. This was the American idea. This is why people flooded to America, is because they did have the opportunity to be benefited, to um, receive the fruits of their own labor, where in these other countries they could not, could they? So when they came to America, it was because of opportunity that they were seeking. And we have to promote that idea today if we want to hold on to this free market and the great liberties that it gives and the advantages, tons of advantages, then, then we have to make sure people understand this great principle that was so important in the early days of the country. Okay? So the federal government is to promote equal opportunity, not to provide equal things. So we have to teach the idea that the government does not owe people anything. That's not its purpose. Okay? So uh, a little bit more about the freedom and responsibility. This is how we, we do with, rather than the ant and grasshopper story, this is what we teach with uh, the older students. Um, if you have a responsible job, whether you're a fireman or a policeman or an engineer or a judge, then you can provide, you're free to provide your own housing. So if you take responsibility, then it brings freedoms, all right? If you have a responsible workout and you work very, very hard, then you're free to perform. So there's lots of innocence. You can have great discussions with students about how freedom and responsibility are connected and um, discuss that so that they really get that concept down in their minds that um, we have to take responsibility if we want to enjoy freedoms, freedoms to do things. Okay? All right. Here's another good question to ask students and ourselves. Do you want to keep what you earn? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. It really surprises students when I, I have some little... Uh, play money, and I'll find find out, especially in high school, who might have had a job, and how you know. Once you get a job, I can you know you get this paycheck, and you have all these dollars, and then federal government comes and takes Social Security and taxes and all these different things. So then you have only a little bit left, and it, it helps them to realize that um, taxes have a huge impact on your life. So we need to make sure our, our kids growing up know that, okay? Free market does provide individual choice, responsibility, individual profit and reward. Um, there's no market regulations. There's individual ownership. These are things you want to remember so that you can talk to people about that. And, and we can overcome the propaganda and the bad ideas by just sharing the great ideas that, f that are connected with free market. Okay? So this is, this is the choice that we're actually coming down to in this country. Individual freedom or government-enforced collectivism. And there are those who are promoting the whole idea of world government. You know, there's a lot of, of uh, propaganda out there concerning that too. So it really comes down to, do you want to keep what you earn? Do you want to make choices for your life? All of those things um, people don't realize are connected with free market and the economy that we have under that. Um, so the goal of free market, what's the goal of free market? Provide choice, responsibility, and reward. Right. Individual liberty, individual responsibility, reward, and in. So what's the goal of socialism? It's controlled security. So we need to, to keep that, those words in mind, that um, socialism is controlled security. But with controlled security, you have to give up your freedom. If, if they take away your responsibility or you give it away, 
then you have to give away your freedom with it. Okay? So here's kind of a fun way of d defining the different systems. All right, who wants to read? We'll get some readers going here. Okay, go ahead. If you want to take your father, if, if you want your father to take care of you, that's paternalism. Okay. Someone else want to read? If you want your mother to take care of you, that's maternalism. Okay. If you want the government to take care of you, that's communism. Everybody read it. If you want to take care of yourself, that's Americanism. Okay. Okay. Back to Ben Franklin. He that would trade liberty for security deserves neither. Okay. So the problem is this slow shift towards socialism. All these different things are influencing it. Where people become more dependent on government, where they want government handouts, where they demand government handouts, that's what, what pushes towards socialism. When the Constitution is ignored, they don't even look at the Constitution for answers, demand for equal things, the entitlement attitude, then it leads to excessive taxation, and look what happens then to government spending. So socialism is pure, government take it all, government give it out, how they decide, okay? And this happens slowly. This is, this is what's going on um, in our country today. So we'll look at this next slide and see something that's, a little, that's really tricky for people to understand. We started with free market or free enterprise. About in the mid-1900s, the word capitalism came to be. And to begin with, capitalism was pretty close to free market. But by then, we already had a lot of regulations. So we didn't really have free market anymore. So we went from free market, really, to capitalism. Today, we have crony capitalism. So do you know what crony capitalism is? Mark? It's when the government or anybody else persuades markets to be opened and products to be made rather than free enterprise. Right. Dictating. Okay. So there's regulations. Who are the regu regulations made for or by whom? Regulations are made to keep the wealth with the wealthy. They influence government. Wealthy people are controlling regulations to control the wealth in their own hands to prevent any kind of failure. So then we go from crony capitalism which we have to admit, you know, don't defend crony capitalism. It is not good. It's not what the Constitution set up. It's not what made this happen. This was pure free market. And so we want to, you know, a lot of people have a lot of bad stuff to say about capitalism, and I just say, you're right. You're absolutely right. We have nothing but crony capitalism right now. And the very next step is socialism. And then from socialism, you step a little farther and you're into communism. So here's the slow shift that happens. We had free market, and these were the advantages that came with it. Now we've had this show sl slow shift towards communism or collectivism. We still have some of this. There's still evidence, that, and so people are saying, well, c communism or socialism, it works. The thing is, we still have a little bit of all these still there. We do still have private property, private ownership. There's a little bit of consumer control. There's still taxes that aren't as bad as maybe some other countries. Um, so as socialism takes over this show, slow shift, we have to recognize when it's happening that eventually government or communal ownership takes over private ownership. And um, there's limited reward for your hard work. That is happening, isn't it? Think about how much money is taken for taxes. Think about how many months you work purely to give money to uh, give up your reward for someone else to decide how to use it. Okay, competition soon is taken over by regulations and control of products. And we know what happens with taxes. If they spend more, they got to take more. 
Government is not a business. They don't produce anything. They don't have any way to have money to give to people without first taking from someone else. Okay? So here's kind of another fun little thing to <laughs> that helps us understand these. Okay? Socialism.